Good evening, and today is Friday, August 25th, 2023. Is your update for Monday the 28th? All right, let's go. Well, no setups going into Monday. This SLRN caught my eye initially. I got kind of excited about it, but then when I circled back to do my final analysis, it just wasn't as excited. I'll show you that in just one second. KBH obviously triggering on the short side. Here's this SLRN, kind of a knockout move, looking kind of cool in here, but it does kind of pull it back into this prior little base or wide loose base, whatever you want to call it. So, Call it. So I'm going to pass for now, especially in light of the market conditions. DKNG caught my eye again as a potential short. If you really felt like you had to do something, this stock looks like it could be in trouble, especially when you add up the gap and such. And it's also likely a bow tie just by eyeballing it. In fact, we could confirm that real quick. Yeah, well, close enough. Let's take a look at the portfolio and then we'll pop out to the overall market. First of all, K and F, a little bit of a bounce there, better than the polka DI, I suppose. Let's take a look at LFMD, Flatsville, but slightly in the positive column, uh, one cents. Not a whole lot to get excited about. Still looks okay longer term, just kind of consolidating in here, but obviously on your stops just in case. The KBH on the short side, selling off nicely in here, but unfortunately closing well off of its worst levels. Let's take a look at the P's. As you can see, a little bit of a dip, but they were coming to close in the plus column. We'll take it, given the nature of this market lately. Up a little bit more than half percent, almost three quarters of a percent. So that's better than a poke in the eye. You know me, I sure like to see it get back above these moving averages and not look back for a while. Bonds, a little bit of a bounce there so far, holding their prior lows in here. Not, not a whole lot to get excited about, but at least those old lows are continuing to hold. And as that composite, okay, day up nearly 1% after a bit of a dip i wouldn't get too excited just yet in these indices until unless we get back above those moving averages good little kind of a demarcation line to kind of keep an eye on not a whole lot to talk about in the rest up a little bit today but still stuck in this wide loose sideways range as it has been forever energies up a little bit in here but just kind of stuck in this range after just trying to break out from this longer term wide and loose range so not a, not a whole lot of follow through there just yeah, drugs bounce a little bit, but still just kind of consolidating after this one big breakout bar. So again, not too much to get excited about there. Everything I've been saying in general, some of these stronger areas have lost momentum as of late, such as MNC broke down a little bit today, but did recover off its worst level. Leisure still not looking so hot in here. As you can see, it looks like a top remains in place there. Let's take a look at the transports. Transports up a little bit. Still like it could be in trouble. They got thwarted, as I've been saying, got all these prior highs in here. Take a look at the Sibbies. Sibbies actually bounced a little bit after a bit of a dip off its best levels, but off its worst levels too. Kind of hanging in there, but still looks questionable at best. As you can see, still in bow trend, downtrend, bow tie downtrend proper order. Easy for me to say. It also well below or back well below that 50 day simple moving average or still below, I should say. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Still kind of ugly out there. A few big updates to make all the difference in the world, but obviously that would have to happen for us to get back above these moving averages and have everything look a lot better. So, as usual, here it comes. Take things one day at a time. I'll be checking in throughout the weekend, so if you need any help with anything, feel free to hit me up on Facebook, or if you don't do Facebook, just uh, shoot me an email at daviddavelander.com. Everybody have a great weekend. Should we not talk between now and then, and we'll talk again on Monday. Thank you so much.